Both of those men, along with many others at today's announcement, say that the removal of Lee and many other Confederate statues in the city is the first of many steps in fixing 400 years of racial inequality in the city, in the state, and in this country. Yes, that statue has been there for a long time. But it was wrong then, and it is wrong now. So we're taking it down. The words from Virginia Governor Ralph Northam Thursday as he orders the removal of the Robert E. Lee statue that has stood in Richmond since 1890, a statue Northam says Lee himself was opposed to. So what happened? Virginia leaders said, we know better. Instead of choosing to heal the wounds of the American Civil War, they chose to keep them. Northam was joined by Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney, who says he'll introduce an ordinance to remove the remainder of the Confederate statues on Monument Avenue. It's time to put an end to the lost cause and fully embrace the righteous cause. And while sharing the same message about the statue. It is a symbol of hate, bigotry, and division. Those gathered also say that removing it and others is but one step and that much more needs to be done to fix 400 years of racial inequities and dismantle the systems that oppress black and brown people. We need to talk about mass incarceration. We need to talk about the school to prison pipeline. We need to talk about a housing crisis that we're having. Um, and so if we can't have those conversations, then we're not doing it correctly. Now, we also got word today about another effort to remove another statue here in the city. This morning, Virginia a delegate, a Democrat, Jay Jones, tweeted out he'll be introducing legislation in the next General Assembly to remove the statue of Harry Byrd, which just uh, sits a few hundred yards down behind me. And Byrd was a former Democratic governor and senator, but also the architect of massive resistance. And Jones tweeted out that he is a that the statue is another symbol of hate and oppression, and it must be removed.